Okay, so got this off the internet. I have stuck lifters and corroded lifters. And all sorts of good stuff going on inside there. But I want to share it because it actually works. And I get a puller to get these lifters out. Of course, you're about $70. I don't do lifters every day, so to buy a puller for $70 is just ridiculous. So, I looked up on the internet, and there's only one guy I actually found. And he said he could find these. I could find them in a local hardware store, but I did find them online. Which you can buy for less than two bucks. This is a 3 8 get the correct name for it. This is actually a 3 8 by 6 inch flathead sleeve anchor, which I got off of uh, Newegg actually, from some place called Gressler's Hardware. Cost me $1.37 a piece. About $5 for two of them with shipping. This is what it looks like. Come together like this first. So it's just basically an anchor goes in the ground, you know, you would tighten it up, but we're not gonna use it for that obviously. Whoops, whoops. Shake it apart, it's got one, two, three, it's four pieces. You're going to need for tools anyways, I recommend a big one. One of these big ones and a smaller one. Two big ones just don't work well. So get a big one, a small one, and a hammer. And that's it. That's all you're gonna need. And something to put in. I got these things at a dollar store. Come with covers. I think I got five of them for three bucks, something like that. So get as many as you want. You can write on the lid. You know what cylinder that is, what side. I'm doing a V8 coming out of my GMC pickup with the 3 350 in it, no not 350, the 5.0, whatever the hell that is. But anyways, I bought two of them because as you say I've been using this and it's gonna get dinged up, damaged, and if you're gonna do this a few times you might need two of them. So I bought the next one just in case. What the heck is like a dollar forty. So anyways, I get your lifter, make sure you keep these things in order too, because you want to put them back where you got them. And I am going to get my 7 right one. Now this is your lifter. You can see this thing is just nasty. There's so much crap in there, it's ridiculous. Hopefully it's coming out right, because I'm actually doing this on my phone. So the first thing you need to do, oh, I'm sorry, you will need you will need another tool. You need some kind of pick. This is actually a screwdriver that I turned into a pick, which works actually pretty good. On the side here, you're gonna see this is a retaining clip. If you get underneath that retaining clip, you can see it starting to pop up. Get under there, put your finger over it once you get it started. So you get it started. So you get it there. Hope you can see that. And then pull up on it, and it's gonna pop out. So you got this little retaining clip. Put that inside your little bucket. Inside of that, you're gonna get this hat. It's gonna come out. Be careful, there's a washer, a flat, uh, I'm not sure the exact name of it, but it's kind of a washer in there too. Which Lately, I've been having to bang out, so you're gonna have to bang this on the tissue or something so you don't lose it. And there it is. Put that aside, let that drain for a minute. Make sure this little flat washer thing, once I get all the gunk off it, that just sits behind it and actually kind of regulates the flow when that lifter is going up and down to let the oil in and out. So it's just this little tiny thing. Throw that in the bucket. Your little wash bucket. So I'm gonna actually put acetone or you can use mineral spirits. They're not a mineral spirit, so I'm using acetone now. Which my wife is actually going to get more of. So back to this lifter. This is when the tools are gonna come in handy. 
needs to get in here and just see how much crap is in there. So get in there and just wipe it out just enough to get some of that out so when you're cleaning it you're not trying to clean all that out of there. Now this truck has probably had, a, had an oil change in God knows how long. So it's pretty gunked up. So that's your tool. I'm going to take it apart and just take that little sleeve out of there first. Um, actually, as I've gone along, I actually hadn't had to even actually take that out. Because it loosened up. At first, you will have to take it out, and then you put this part back on. But as you go along, you'll find that if you just leave it loose like this, you can actually get it in there. Now, the point of this tool is to take that inner side, inner piece out there, the inner cylinder. I don't know the proper exact name for it, but... So it just pops in there. Something you have to push a little more. When it first gets going, it's a little harder. Once you start using this tool, though, it starts getting easier. So just tighten it up a little. You really don't have to tighten up much. You feel it's kind of in there. Now the point of this big one is that this is going to act like your um, puller, your slide hammer. You're going to put it on there. So, so it's sliding up a hammer on this. And you're basically just going to use it like a slide hammer. This is the piece you would pull and bang up to the top. And so you, once you start banging it, the more stuff these things are, the harder they come out. But some come out easy, some come out hard, this one's a little bit skunked up, so it's kind of hard. You can see it's starting to come out now. And once you get it going right at the bottom, you can see it's the piece that you want to take out. Be careful, the spring's in there, sometimes the spring gets stuck in there, so you gotta pull it out of this piece. But that's the top piece. I'll put that over there like that. Drain for a minute. As I go along, careful because this part's going to come out. Take each piece and just kind of wipe it off a little bit. So uh, when you're soaking this stuff, it doesn't take forever. Now that pick is going to come in handy again. Because inside of this thing here, you need to get this out. And there's little slits that go around the side of this for when the oil needs to be drained in and out. And if you grab one, you can find one. There's one right there. See, it's stuck in there. And go on the other side, find the other one. You don't want to just pull it from one side. You don't want to get jammed in there. Just kind of move it up, up. Careful, because inside of here are more little pieces. If you look inside of this thing. I can show you here. You're going to find a ball bearing, and there's only a little tiny spring inside of this piece here. Get that ball bearing out. Little tiny ball bearing. You should put that in there. Well, that rolling away on you. And that's it for in there. Let me put that piece aside. Grab that little piece there. Because you want to get this little tiny itsy bitsy spring out of here. A little tiny spring. Don't lose that. And then like the other pieces. I'll just wipe it off a little bit. Inside of this piece is usually pretty gunked up. So that a little bit clean. Put that in your wash bucket. Now, as usual, clean off this while it's on here because it's actually a lot easier to hold on to. As much gunk as you get off of here. Take the cleaning time down a bit. And you're going to notice it's going to be stuck on here. It's not going to come off. So you, know, you will have to take this top piece off. Take that sleeve off of there. Put the sleeve aside that back on some you don't want to ruin your threads get it kind of tight like this that's when your hammer comes in play just make sure you got somewhere where it's going to fall <laughs> you know where it's going it's not like a long fall so you know, all you're going to do is just um matter of fact it's what your smaller ones are for small ones make it easy you're going to grab this but try not to squeeze it too much because they notice it's got a slit here and the more you squeeze it the more it gets out of round, if it does, just get your screwdriver in there and, you know, make this back into a sort of round so it goes up and down this thing. So grab a hold of it. I grab a little bit low sometimes I like to slide. And just lightly tap it. Okay, comes right off. There's the other piece that was down in there. Pops right out. Clean off your tool actually become pretty handy 
I've already did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these already, and this thing's still kicking pretty dang good. So, as usual, get in here, clean up all of this. Get as much of that gunk out of there. Put that in there, get the piece that was draining over here. Clean as much gunk as you can out of there. More gunk get out of here, the better you clean and stuff can clean the stuff up. Unless you gotta clean out of there. Look at all that. That's nasty. Alright, put that in your bin. If I actually had acetone at this moment. Like I said, my wife actually is going out to get me some. I'll put some in there. But we'll show you. The ones that do have it in there. So this one I did a little bit earlier. You see it's sitting in the acetone. I'm gonna leave it in there for probably all dang day. Once in a while I'll just swirl it around. That's why I get the ones with the covers. Just give it a little bit of squirrel. But you know, not too much because right now, even right now it's coming out of it. I don't really care. Not nothing special over here. Make sure you're not wearing any good clothes either. But that's a simple process it's gonna be. After that, you know, get in there. I got one of these here that I can get inside here. This is actually a long one. I bent it over so I can get all the way down in there. Because if you look down way in there, there's a hole down there where that oil is going to go. Matter of fact, I'm going to get these other gloves off here. And I'll show you one that I actually already cleaned up, which I put in a handy dandy baggy. Awesome. These are awesome. You got to have some of these. So these are all the little parts. This one I've already had cleaned up hat down there you can see there's holes down in there there's holes on the side right here where all that oil gets gunked up that was all gunked up in there this is what rides on the cam all these little pieces I'll probably actually clean up and leave them a little bit better but you know these are the pieces where the push rod sits on all the other little pieces that's what it's supposed to look like as you can see Comparison really quick. Clean, not clean. So you can imagine the oil and everything trying to get in there. And that's about it. If you like it, subscribe, give me a likes, and a wipes back so I can actually put some acetone in. <laughs> Thank you for watching.